Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be starting a small series on the Drupal Feeds module and all of the impressive things you can do with that. So to get started, you want to head over to drupal.org slash project slash feeds to grab feeds, and you're also going to need job scheduler, and the uh, project is job underscore scheduler. Now this one actually doesn't have a recommended uh, release for Drupal 7, but there's no bugs in the issue queue, and if you look through the issues, um, people are sort of wondering why it's not in, um, you know, a recommended release yet. Uh, and so I, I have had no issues with it, so you can go ahead and grab the alpha version if you'd like, and uh, of course if you have any issues, post it on to the job scheduler um, issues page, but for the most part, um, I think this module's pretty uh, pretty good to use. I haven't had any problems. Okay, so go ahead and in, um, install those modules on your uh, you know your modules folder and let's come to our Drupal um, modules page here. I'm just going to refresh this. Okay, um, let's type in job scheduler. Okay, and uh, you, you can also enable this uh, trigger but I'm not going to. We don't need it for this actually. So let's add this, and then we're going to add feeds next. Okay, now that that's in, just look up feeds, and now I'm going to grab feeds. You're also going to need feeds admin UI, and then your, uh, this an example of a node importer and a user importer. You can grab this if you want to see one of their examples. I don't really need one of their examples right now, so I'm not going to grab it. Feeds news uh, is a news aggregator. Uh, built with feeds creates nodes. Uh, we're not going to use that right now. So basically just feeds and feeds admin UI if that's what you want. If you want to install the other two and play with random, go right ahead. Okay, let's save this and then I'm going to clear the cache and we should all be good. So what feeds does is it's able to grab a feed pretty much from anywhere. It can grab, you know, an RSS feed, an XML feed. It can grab a CSV that you've uploaded yourself and it parses that information and it creates content with it. So you can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can import a lot of content at once if you have that information in like a CSV file like this. If you want, you could just hit go and it's going to create those nodes. You can also do things like pull videos from YouTube um, using the YouTube and media feeds, uh, which we'll get into later, but uh, not yet. And you can basically pull in anything from any RSS content, okay? So in this lesson, we're really just going to get set up and sort of look through feeds to really understand it. Um, in the next lesson, I'll show you exactly how to do the CSV import. But so we can understand, let's go to structure and then feed importers. If we go here, you'll see that there's no feed importers unless you had enabled that uh, demo content. So let's click add importer. And so you can uh, see exactly what this importer is going to be doing. And we'll just call this simple CSV. In the description, uh, you don't need anything, so I'm just not going to. Okay, and so now it's going to create, and this is uh, this is your feed, basically this is your feed settings. And it kind of tells you a little bit of getting started information, um, but you're gonna go through all of these things here, and it's nice just to start at the top here and go to the bottom, and pretty much just check off what you wanna do. But let's look through each of these and see what's in here. Like I said, in the next lesson, we're actually going to go fill out this information and create this feed. So the name, description, the selected source is going to be imported by creating a node of that content type. We're actually going to be using this use standalone form, which basically, uh, I'll open this page in a new tab. If you go to this page, which is uh, just your domain slash import, it gives you an option and you're going to select your importer and then you run it that way. So of course, I'll just show you that when we do it. But right now, um, just know that we're going to leave this on use standalone form. And you can have it choose to uh, periodically import. Let's say if your feed's changing a lot, you can have it import every 30 minutes. Um, because we're just uploading a CSV, of course, we would only want to have this be off. But of course, more on that later. Uh, I'll just check off right now. And if you want to import it on submission, uh, which we do, you'll have this check process and background. That's probably better if you're wanting to do periodic. So let's go to fetcher here. Let's click change. So you can have a couple of different fetchers, right? So HTTP fetcher or file upload. File uploads where you're actually going to physically import, uh, select a file that's on your computer and upload it to the feed and have it import that data. HTTP fetcher is where you're going to download the content from a URL. This might be um, useful if you're importing from an RSS feed or something. OK, 
Okay, so depending on which one you select here, it's going to give you this options. Let's just for now check out the HTTP one. So here's two options, auto detect feeds. So if you give it just a URL and not a feed itself, um, it's going to try to extract the feed from the URL in the document. I, I think you're better off just using the feed itself if you can find out that information. Um, this is use pub sub hub bub. As you can see here, in essence, it provides for pushed Atom RSS update notifications instead of requiring clients to pull whole feeds. Okay, we're not gonna be using that, so we're not gonna worry about it. Uh, back here, we're going to go to parser. So the parser is pretty much what kind of document you're dealing with. Um, so XML format feeds, OPML feeds, CSV, um, RSS, here's a XML, RSS, RSS1. I mean, this is pretty much what you'd be doing if it was an RSS feed, you're pulling it from the internet somewhere, um, atom format, whatever. So, uh, so the parser is what type of file you're giving it. And again, since we have common syndication parser, the first one selected, this option is going to be whatever you select here. And this is going to be the settings in particular for that. As you can see, there's nothing in here. We're gonna get into that more later once we actually build out our feed. Okay, processor. Processor is what kind of, uh, what you want to do with this feed. We wanna be creating nodes. Uh, with this one, you can also um, create taxonomy, create users. So this is the node processor. Uh, when you upload things from here, it's going to create nodes out of them. And this is going to be the settings for that. So just like each of these head headings, the uh, settings right below it are right down here with the settings. And this is basically what you're going to want to do when you're creating these nodes. You can have it update existing nodes. You can have it not update existing nodes. You can have it replace existing nodes. Um, so every single time it deletes it and, and creates new ones, um, you can select the text format of the of the body field. Um, of course, this is uh, your content type, so product, project, article, web form. And when we get into it, we're going to create its own content type just so we can see how that works. And this is be the author. If you want them all authored by you, you can do that as well. Expire nodes, uh, never. Uh, you can also have them expire after one year, one hour, whatever. Mapping is where you physically tell Drupal um, hey, in my XML file, or in my, my CSV file, this column is coming into uh, this node field. So, like I said, when we get into the CSV thing, we're gonna show you all that. So this is really what feeds is like. You make your feed importer, and then you will go to slash import, if you would like, and run your feed. Okay, well, I hope that helps you understand feeds a little bit more. In the next lesson, we're going to get our hands dirty and build a feed ourselves using this a simple CSV I wrote. Feel free to make your own, and it's pretty easy to follow along, okay? Uh, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.